Alrighty, let's let's get back to work. Oh, you know what? I haven't checked my YouTube analytics in a while. I should look up on that. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to pay my bills next month. Questions that plague the minds of us gamers. The Elder Scrolls poses two great ones. Why don't the Khajiit have eight boobs like cats? And why do the Argonians even have them? Johnny. <laughs> boobs! There, I've said it enough. I'll be referring to them as breasts now, yes. So breasts are basically reserved for humans. Most other mammals' mammary glands will only swell when pregnant and when feeding their young. Then, when their young stop drinking the milk inside, they recede back. But not humans. Human females have breasts all year round, no matter how pregnant or not they are. Though, they do still swell to greater sizes when pregnant and when breastfeeding. Anyway, apes, the ape family, humans, chimps, gorillas, orangutans, we all have two nipples, or teats as some refer to them. So, humans having two breasts makes sense. But then some animals have four, or even eight. Yes, eight, like some cats and dogs. But considering how many kittens and puppies cats and dogs can have in a single litter, it makes sense to have so many. They gotta feed all their adorable little babies. In the Elder Scrolls now, the Khajiit are a race of humanoid cats. So in turning into humanoids, why would they suddenly lose six of their nipples and grow two breasts to replace them? Wait, hang on, lose? Or were they perhaps created this way. Well, according to the Khajiit and their own version of the typical divine mythology, which uses the actual divines but changes the things they do into things like, and then they created the most beautiful and fastest race possible, the Khajiit. Pretty funny when you think about it. But many scholars, especially imperial scholars, have debated this mythos, not only because it contradicts the mythos the rest of Tamriel all follows, but also because they believe the Khajiit are descendants of great cats from the desert regions of Nern. By the way, Nern is the name of the planet that the Elder Scrolls is based in. And imperial scholars, along with, well, most other races, are a lot more intelligent than your average Khajiit. So, We'll go by what they say. I mean, after all, the Khajiit also believe that dragons are just really big cats. I mean, that's silly. So many intelligent scholars believe the Khajiit are the descendants of great cats, basically meaning that they evolved. But all great cats have four to eight nipples as well, and no breasts at all. So why would they lose these and gain breasts? Well, evolutionarily speaking, it makes perfect sense. First, let's talk about humans, apes, and monkeys. Why do we have mammaries on our chests in the first place? Why not the belly, the groin, or the armpit like some other animals? Well, what is the basic structure of humans, apes, and monkeys? What sets us apart? Well, we are all bipedal, meaning we walk around on two feet. We stand upright, and we hold our babies in our arms. And if we are holding them up to our chest all the time, it makes sense for the baby's food source to be there as well. It also has a lot to do with the way we walk. Humans have large chests and stand more upright than any other species. And while running, I'm sure you can think of a ton of places that extra lumps of fat would be a hindrance. That being more of a hindrance than they already are. A glorious, glorious hindrance. Humans already have a lot of heavy guts in their guts, so adding on an extra chunk of fat would throw off our center of gravity. Also, when we have extra fat stockpiles, most of that tends to go to the belly already, meaning if breasts were here too, it would just stick out even more. Also, most if not all of these other locations would not only cause an athletic hindrance to females, but also to the baby. Feeding would be a lot more complicated if breasts were not so conveniently located just above where our arms cross. So because of all of this, it makes perfect sense that these two breasts are the ones to remain on the Khajiit after the rest leave. But why would the rest leave? Well, why do we have two breasts to begin with? And why do cats have six to eight? 
Well, it makes perfect sense, actually. Mammals of all kinds tend to have a few extra feeding ports than the number of offspring they typically have. Cats and dogs usually have litters from four to six, so they have six to eight nipples. Extras, spares, in case one of them runs out or is defected in some way. Humans, for the most part, will only have one baby at a time. Same with apes and monkeys. And twins do occasionally arrive, but any more than two is extremely rare, so there's no need for our bodies to have more milk ports. So we have two sets of mammary glands. So along with becoming more humanoid in stature, the Khajiit likely also gained more humanoid breeding patterns, meaning they too will likely only have single children, maybe twins from time to time, so there's no need for additional breasts. Especially considering these additional breasts would also cause them to be very front-heavy when full. Not to mention how clumbersome eight whole breasts all the way down the torso would be. But what about the process of going from Great Cat to Khajiit? What purpose does slowly losing these breasts and having less offspring bring? Well, the entire point of life from an animal's perspective is breeding to spread your genes. Pass them on to the next generation. So a lot of animals will have a lot of babies to help this along, especially if they are an animal that dies a lot due to predators or disease. Think about mice, insects, rabbits, fish. They have tons of babies, which makes sense, as most of them won't live long enough to pass their genes on. They get eaten. So to make up for the fact that they are delicious, they have a lot of babies. But there's quantity, and then there's quality. As the Khajiit's ancestors became more and more intelligent, their brains, and thus their heads, grew. As did their bodies. This causes a massive burden on the mothers to carry them in their womb, and don't even get me started on childbirth. Many mothers will die from being overfull and birthing complications and so on. So the Khajiit that have smaller litters live longer and thus can have more babies in the future. Plus, having fewer kits means they can spend more time training and teaching them individually, so they can begin to become even more intelligent. Their heads grow further, and so on. A cycle continues, and before you know it, Khajiits only have one or two kits at a time, much more intelligent than their ancestors, and with fewer mammary glands, since they don't need them anymore. They may selectively breed them out, or since having so many full breasts is a hindrance to their survival, the Khajiit with more and larger breasts die off due to complications, accidents, etc. So over the eons, they simply become more and more human, the optimal shape for any bipedal being. Two breasts on the chest and all. But now for the bigger question. Why do Argonians have breasts at all? Well, that is for next time. So stay tuned to Noggin, and stay awesome. I mean, sure, it may be flatter than Lucina, but it's the one moment of true bliss you've had since entering this godforsaken wasteland.